What's good? It's the Mighty the Ruler, and I'm back with more hip hop and entertainment news. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and click that notification bell so you get notified each and every time I upload new content. Now, T.I. visited the Red Table with Jada Pickett, his wife, as well as Jada Pickett's mother, and they talked about this scrutiny he's been facing for his comments that he made about taking his daughter to her yearly every day after her birthday. Check out the original statement that T.I. made. Yes. Not only have we had the conversation, <laughs> we have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her height. Oh, you, hey, <laughs> I'm done with you right now. So, uh, do you go with me as a prisoner? Yes, yes, I go with her. You go with her. Somebody check on Deja. I go with her. She's a prisoner. <laughs> so let me tell you, right? So, so this is one time oh, we no. go. I think this might have been after her 16th birthday, and this is what we do. Like you know, right after the birthday, we celebrate. And we go and check her hymen after. Then, <laughs> what the fuck? You know, usually like the day after. Now, a lot of people took offense to that, mostly women. I don't know too many men that took offense to that particular situation, but it led to his daughter deleting or deactivating her social media page, as well as a host of other people coming out accusing T.I. of being a controlling father. So T.I. decided, because he wasn't talking about it, we haven't heard T.I. really uh, explain himself up until this interview that he did with Jada Pickett. Um, and Jada kind of asked several questions, and, and, and from what I got from it, it sounded like T.I. really didn't understand the sensitivity of speaking about that out in public. And it's hard for a, a father or a man to try to place himself in the uh, in the shoes of a child. He was speaking from a father, and some fathers are a little more controlling than other fathers. Here's a couple clips from that interview. For there to be malice, there must be ill intent. There's it's no support. such thing as overprotective. I put moral standards in all of my children. Right. All right, so it looks like T.I. really didn't got himself in a bit of a pickle <laughs> with women right now because, like I said, I don't think a lot of men really care about the conversation to that extent. And a lot of men probably can relate to some of the things that T.I. was saying. Do I feel that it is controlling? I do feel that T.I. may be a little strict when it comes to raising his kids. But then at the same time, we have people complaining about people not raising their kids and kids just out running around in the streets while doing all kind of different things. So, I mean, I believe that everything needs a little bit of balance. But at the end of the day, are we really upset because a father is trying to be a father and maybe he got this one wrong? You see what I'm saying? Like, it, it's crazy for people to, like, criticize him when he's trying to be a father. Now, he may not be doing what you agree with, but at the end of the day, he's there for the kids. Uh, the mom actually came out after this particular interview came out and called T.I. a narcissist. <laughs> Get in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm Almighty the Ruler. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button and click that notification bell so you get notified each and every time I upload new content. Peace.